Hello, this is Inner Monster, and here I'm here to talk about the what ifs that I'm going to be doing and possibly doing. But first, I want to get you guys' response on them and see if you guys would actually want to see that. Now, I'm going to continue the Asta as Igneo's son, but I also want to hear what you guys think about the Asta as Avatar, since most people, when they do that, what if they uh, make it to where it's magic instead of the actual avatar powers like I've been doing and setting up in the Asta as the avatar, what if. Uh, but I also have an idea for Asta to be trained by Zoro in a different what if. Os obviously, it'd be called what if Asta was trained by Zoro. And yes, I mean Zoro from One Piece. There's also what if Asta was uh, the son of King and Diane, which people might eh, might not get, but uh, the setup is Asta was sent away for his own safety, King died, and since fairies don't typically have children, he, especially the fairy kings, is the first time that the fairy king ever had a child, so... No rule against the spirit spirit to be inherited or anything like that. So there is that. But uh, as for the Deku what ifs, I got two that I um, actually want to do. One is what if Deku had anti-venom. Yes, and I've heard complaints about that anti-venom doesn't have a mind or anything. But I'm going to use the multiverse thing that they do in comics like non-stop to make a part zero where he and some other where anti-venom and other symbiotes end up in the my hero world but before that incident happens i'd make it to where he come in contact with the mind and soul stone directly to gain a mind and a soul that way that way, uh, Anti-Venom becomes like a full-fledged symbiote with his own consciousness and everything. And the second one for Deku would be, what if Deku had Crown Clown from D. Gray Man? Uh, I'll, I'll uh, put up a link showing what exactly Crown Clown powers from, the, the, from D. Gray Man can do and all that. Although considering the fact that uh, that its pow one of its powers, well, the main power in its sword fo form is to kill the demon, while uh, sparing the human, there will be a bit of an adjustment on that. Considering there are no Akuma or Noah in the what if I'm planning for Deku having Crown Clown, but I want you guys' idea on that. Well, you know, your response on that, and I'll leave a link in the description to a fight that shows what the Crown Clown power can do, because the others that I mentioned, everyone knows a lot about, but for some reason on Discord, it seems like not a lot of people know about D. Gray Man, so there is that. So, tell me what you think about it, and we'll see... Which one, if we're going to just continue what we have already for now, or if you guys want me to throw in some new what-ifs for either Asta and or Deku on the ones that I just suggested. I'll also leave the something in the descriptions to show the list of what-ifs I just said. So, thank you. Please remember to like subscribe, and comment. Remember to hit the bell. And see you later.